for the zombie fish. Published in 2017 and written by Keelan Patrick Burke, Blanky is a novella about the death of a nine-month-year-old baby girl. Most of us, fortunately, are never going to have to go through anything so horrible. But the author tries to at least give us a flavour of what this could be like when the main character Steve narrates, it was the beginning of the end of my world. We are welcomed into a very dark existence. Steve refuses to leave the house in which the tragedy occurred. His lady is no longer with him, and he leads a very repetitive, isolated and unhealthy lifestyle. One of Burke's talents here as a writer is he is able to inject the story right off the bat with an emotional gravitas. I really want Steve, after just a few pages in, to crawl his way out of this abyss. Listlessly watching sitcoms, drinking himself stupid with whiskey, replaying things over in his head, Burke's depiction of Steve is very well done. There is a reconnection between himself and his estranged other half, Lexi. I thought the interactions between them were very realistically rendered and you really feel everything hangs on him being able to secure that union again and to do away with these suicidal tendencies. I don't want to describe anything else from the story arc but you can probably guess that it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. Reality and fantasy are engagingly juxtaposed as we get a close-up of Steve's mind and all the things that seem to torment it. We are pleasantly or possibly unpleasantly not sure of where we're being led. Now, because of the quality of the writing and the engaging story and the fact it's just a very short book, you are going to want to see this one out to the end. But personally, when I did reach the finale, I thought the story fell a little bit flat. Was it a cliche? Was it too vague? I'm not really sure. I just know I wasn't as engaged as I had been. Despite the com C com sa ending, in my opinion, Blanky is a very dark, very engaging slice of horror literature, you could say. Keelan Burke has some definite chops on him as a writer. And the nice little touch, a delicate memoir like a blanket, the fact that that was used as a catalyst for the horror was a really good grisly touch. I would have to give Blanky three and a half goat skulls out of five.